And welcome to a very special broadcast from the Orthodox Jewish Chamber of Commerce radio show, Making a Difference for Your Business, a division of Parnassa Network. And this is brought to you by the OJC, highlighting the JBiz Expo taking place June 1st at the New Jersey Convention Exposition Center. JBiz Expo is New Jersey's largest Jewish business expo, which provides companies with the chance to promote their business and limitless opportunities for face to face networking. The expo features exhibits from dynamic companies in all industries servicing the business world. Businesses can cost effectively reach their target audience, while visitors can meet company executives and experience firsthand the numerous products and services that are available to enhance their businesses. And we'll hear later on how the President of the United States, the Governor of New Jersey, and Senator Cory Booker have all spoken of the importance of this business expo. With us right now is Duvi Honig, the founder of Parnassa Network, the founder of the Orthodox Jewish Biz Chamber of Commerce, and spearheading the very exciting JBiz Expo. Duvi, you've been working on this for at least six years, so Welcome. Thank you for joining this very, very special broadcast. And tell us exactly what is the Orthodox Jewish Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for having us, uh, Zev. Um, the Orthodox Jewish Chamber of Commerce is, is services as a global umbrella for all of the Orthodox community's businesses of all sizes and all industries. Our chamber members have individual re- inv- invaluable resources to network their expertise and services and gain new customers, skills, and resources. With this central infrastructure, the community will also have enhanced clout with the businesses and political worlds, improving community businesses, prospects at doing business with major corporate entities, and help implement beneficial laws at the federal, state, and local level. So it's really, you know, it's a, a whole bunch of uh, benefits of having being part of a chamber. It generates business, as, we, as I just mentioned, more puts you on the map, um, gives you strength, you know, for political, um, uh, public policy needs, and uh, it's a voice, it's a union. Um, we, we, are, we, ha- we aren't the first to introduce a Chamber of Commerce. This Chamber of Commerce is a very common, uh, I'm sure you know, Brooklyn has a Chamber of Commerce, Lakewood has, uh, Tom's River, I mean, different states, different communities have chambers. But the uniqueness of our Chamber of Commerce is that it's, that it's universal. It's not just for one, one locale, one community. Um, it's all, if you go to our site, into, and if you're not a member yet of the OJC, Orthodox Jewish Chamber of Commerce, ojchamber.com is our website. It's ojchamber.com. And you can go through our business, you can sign up uh, to join our members, uh, membership. Um, you can go to, to seek different business uh, service providers that can benefit you. We have a business directory. And if you go through our business directory, you'll see, you go through accountants. You'll have maybe 50 accountants, and each accountant's from a different state, different location, d- different strength, and you can connect directly with them, see their website, and et cetera, et cetera. So it pulls everything together and brings everything into one platform and makes one makes the, the, the bigger world so much smaller. And Zev, I don't know how, how, if you, how in touch you are with today with the change of the way business is done, but the world today needs innovation. The world today needs people to work with the new way businesses are, 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 business is done. A lot of businesses are failing, successful businesses or falling behind because they're not up to date with the, whether it's the social media and whether it's, it's the, the, the digital um, apps or, or how business is done. Uh, and and uh, it, it, just, it just, we have to work and strengthen our businesses and build our platforms in ways that it could be as Amazon, you know, as a, as a Google, like the whole business world. It's so much smaller today, right? And that's how businesses get hurt because if they're not part of such a platform and they're just like located on an Avenue X and East 96th Street, and no one's going to know about them. <laughs> but but if if they tap in to the digital world, all of a sudden, like it doesn't matter if they if, if they're in Baltimore, if they're, if they're in Panama, or if they're in Israel, and they're still working uh, part of one uh, in one building and they're in the same. 
in real estate, you know, one Grand Street, whatever, you know. And it's amazing how powerful it is. And that leads me to what we're doing with the JBiz Expo, which is so important because despite the fact that things have moved online, there's still that personal touch that's needed where you can network person to person. That's what the, the, the you're doing, not just with the business Chamber Business of Commerce, but also with the JBiz X, which is an exciting thing where you can have different businesses and you have fantastic speakers. We'll hear from one of them in just a little bit who is sought after by major companies and yet still keeps the orthodox tradition, won't violate Shabbos. Yeah, that will be our keynote. TV Bernard will join us soon. JBiz Expo. Who is it for? Who should be coming? What's going to be transpiring there? So, so... It's the same way we just spoke about the Chamber of Commerce, the annual get-together for the Chamber or, or other businesses who are within the community or doing business with the community. It's a 120,000-square-foot conference and expo center. Um, there's opportunities to exhibit your business and or make connections, anything business-related in this room. Th you know, th think of, of uh, uh, a hospital. You need a foot doctor, head doctor, you know, a heart doctor, emergency room. Everything's in the hospital. They have different divisions. Um, the concept of having the JBiz Expo is having an uh, address for all business needs. Zev, your business, you have technology, correct? Of course. You have phone system, right? You have, you have insurance. You have... Um, uh, 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 I'm sure you 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 have a car, right? To get the business, uh, you have uh, um, you have uh, real estate where you're in. You have locations. You have. By the time you take apart a part of business, there's so many services that businesses need: credit card processing. I mean, banks, um, funding, loans, uh, um, um, partnerships. Uh, um, you know, having a good a good business and people see you advertised all over, but there just is a logo on the paper. Now you're actually able to add a name and a face and a relationship to your brand. They meet you. Oh, you're, 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 you're so-and-so, you're Mark, you're Chaim, you're Shlomo, you're Esther. Oh, we spoke on the phone so many times. Now your customers bond with you, and, and, they, and you take the relationship to the next level, and, and they, they're not going to go elsewhere so fast, and they'll, and, they'll, and, and they'll know who they're speaking to, and they'll you'll service your customers, you'll, and they'll give you additional business. You know, a lot of times people don't know, oh, you had this pro program also. I'm using your business, but I, I didn't know you had these specific needs also that you care for me or I mean it, it's endless but the concept is that there's a place to go to bring uh, our service providers businesses need service providers they live on them and be able to s strengthen our, the businesses who exhibit the, those who attend um, people who, who are in the workforce attending um, and see what could help them grow? Now, we also have a lot of lectures and seminars, um, workshops, and a lot of information. What's priceless, you know? And the the, the networking is huge. And I'll just right over here. Someone just sent me, a, you know, a letter. Um, I managed a company for 15 years. I was recently, you know, um, uh, started my own business. He started. He's, he started off by the expo. And now already he's, he's doing over a million dollars of turnover in, in, the, in, the, in his second year, and et cetera, et cetera. You know, he just got a loan through one of the people he met, through one of the banks through, through the network. Um, they, and then you have bigger companies who are just, you know, doing bigger deals and small companies doing smaller deals and startups coming out there and getting out there for the very first time and being excited to be able to be in a place where, for the price of basically an ad, they're able to network with thousands of people, you know. So we we're really trying to explain to people the value of networking, and uh, I'm going to get to it, I'm going to tell them, but I just, I want to stay focused a moment on the value of networking, the, today's world, everything's networking. It's not like the old days where you had a Rolodex on your desk, right? And going through numbers, you, you everything's digital, everything's that networking, connections is everything, meeting the right people, and it's so important to be able to participate with this, by this event, and get in, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, 
but as attendee or if you have a business to exhibit it. Uh, people are able to go to our website, jbizexpo.com, and, be, and to find information, uh, reserve booths, um, you know, exhibit there. If they have any additional information, there's a number they can call over there. That's jbizexpo.com. But this is the pun. This is really like the, the the annual gathering from the Panasa Expo, Panasa Network, for throughout the year. Um, Panasa Network has 14 divisions, of, and we service every area of Panasa. Uh, not not just like um, uh, many organizations who have excellent organizations and top notch in the fields they service in Panasa, but then limited fields what they do service. Panasa Network is like a high lifeline of Panasa. Big companies, small companies, one day a person needs a, 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 this end, the other day he needs, he needs another end. A woman, a man, a startup, a, we have seminars, trainings, um, uh, you know, job boards and, and uh, coachings and, uh, and uh, I mean, today alone, Jeff, you know, I was telling you, I was speaking to Williamsburg, to Israel, uh, um, to Lakewood, to Brooklyn, to Muncie, and, and, and we're networking people constantly in the needs, and everyone has different needs, and the need of today is not the need of tomorrow. So businesses constantly have needs, and by taking the, uh, our, the, the chamber and taking this expo and saying, once year we're bringing everyone together from all over, it, there's, there's nothing more valuable to synergize um, giving people opportunity to help themselves. Uh, and that's, you know, the biggest, uh, today in the morning I got a call, Zev, um, someone mentioned to me, you know, he had a lot of quali- qu- high qualifications and he just, you know, lost, lost his job. And I said, listen, you know, if you think that you're going to call the Honig and say, you know, can you help me or find a job uh, or you send me a resume, you know, you're just wasting your time because the answer is no. We have platforms that you're able to use to network yourself and see what's good for you and, and, and get out there. It's impossible for, to just make a phone call and, and, and like, uh, like, uh, like uh, hi, I'm Tamka Shabbos, yeah, I need food, deliver me a box of food. It doesn't work the way with Panasa, you know, it's much more challenging. You know, people have different strengths. Each person has different capabilities and the talent is, there's a lot of talent. But giving them ways to pull together and, and meet and, and be able to use their strengths to help themselves is the biggest form of tzedakah, and that's and then, and it's not it's not even a tzedakah's perspective, because you, you, you're talking about people who have good businesses and are doing well, but still the same thing is strengthening them further. So networking is a key to everything um, by providing many platforms for people to be able to help themselves, not limiting the, the job boards and the things that we do do internally and uh, and help people placements and everything. But there's so many. Just, but there's nothing like giving a person uh, or a business a voice and uh, and a place to be heard and seen and show what they have. You are listening to the Orthodox Jewish Chamber of Commerce radio show. It's a division of Parnassa Networking, and we're promoting the JBiz Expo taking place June 1st at the New Jersey Convention and Exposition Center. We have on our newsmaker line. Uh, prominent keynote speaker, Kiwi Burnhead, who's going to be speaking at the JBiz Expo this June 1st. Kiwi is an award-winning author and international keynote speaker to Fortune 500s, including Merck, Coca-Cola, and Microsoft. Kiwi is the author of the highly acclaimed business book, Le- Leperology, and uh, the amazing part of Kiwi is that he's Orthodox, and there's a famous stories of and to our listeners um, what recently went viral. How Microsoft invited Kiwi to speak uh, uh, because the theme of their annual convention was lep- leprology, and it ended up being on on a Shabbos, and Kiwi turned them down and gave back the deposit. And they called him up and they said, we'll give you more money, we'll double your money, we'll triple your money. And he said, it's not money, I can't do it, it's the Sabbath. And Microsoft was so eager to have him be their keynote, opening speaker, that they pushed the whole convention to Sunday. 
And later on, the CEO of the company was speaking to Bill Gates, and he says, no, this guy really made, uh, you know, missed everything around, all our schedulings, uh, you know, we had to change everything around, it was such a mess. And Bill says, I don't understand why, should you offer him more money? He says, you don't understand, you know, it was, it, 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 it was Saturday, he couldn't do it, so he says, so you offer him even more money. So he said, I offered him an open checkbook, but he's Jewish, and he just said, it's not money, it's principle. And Bill Gates said, wow, that's someone who has something money can't buy. So to be able to have such a keynote speaker by the Jabez Expo, us as Yidden coming together, yes, Parnassa, uh, money uh, is the, the essence to our existence, to everything we need, to everyday lives, to t- supporting our needs, our uh, children, uh, uh, and tzedakah, so everything is money, you know, David should give it to us as, as, uh, to, to use, but there's value behind it. And to have the largest Jewish business conference and expo would generate so much, millions, if not hundreds of millions of uh, dollars of business being done through connections and deals being made here, but still setting the tone as, as the value of what we need the money for and who we are is is the most uh, uh, amazing uh, message that we could share and we're honored to have him with us today. Thank you. Zev and Davi, my certainly my honor and my privilege to be with you folks and of course the Jabers Expo and all that it is and all that it stands for is uh, a, a huge, huge value for which we uh, as Jews live and by the way have died to uh, serve the Boro Elam in this physical material world uh, and to pursue it with sanctity and holiness while we succeed within it. Um, but uh, clearly not of the world, but operating in the world. And uh, that's a very special and privileged thing to do. So it's, it's really my honor. Uh, basically, I just want to, to share with you that uh, the opportunity to really connect and share with Jews that are looking to find a pathway that uh, will take them to a parnosa and a livelihood that is Bikadusha Ubatahara, sanctified and holy, uh, not only for what it is, but because of the methodology that they use to get there, is in essence really the entire raison d'etre for which we have come down into this uh, world. And it's a very, very special thing to be a part of. Unfortunately, we live in a society where the you know money and the dollar bill has become the predominant uh, and dominant pursuit of most of humanity. And there is one single nation on earth that has been selected and chosen to redefine that relationship and understand that we don't work for money, but that money works for us. And it is a thing to be used uh, and to be shaped into the, uh, the, the process of our lives and into the things in our lives for which we stand and the values for which we live and have died. And uh, it's a tremendous opportunity, and I certainly look forward uh, to being there, please God, June 1st. It's going to be a big event. Dovi, I know that this is the kind of caliber speaker that's going to be participating in the JBIS Expo. Wonderful. And I know you're inspirational, and you get a lot of people that are inspired by what you say. And is there any quick story you want to share with our audience that you also have come across in years of speaking and motivating people? I've, I've had many, many opportunities to uh, encounter fascinating individuals, captains of industry, high-ranking, high-leading, uh, you know, really top echelon management and leadership of global Fortune 500s and thousands across the world, and it has lent itself to very fascinating anecdotal stories. And, of course, I am out there as a Jew and clearly, uh, vis- you know, visually apparent that I'm Jewish, um, you know, and uh, that has that has really led its way to a lot of fascinating contact. And um, please, God, I will be sharing with Hashem a story or two or three, uh, you know, that I encountered, and uh, I look forward to doing so with the audience. I 
think they will find it intriguing and uh, equally fascinating. Uh, there's the well-known story, of course, with Microsoft that, you know, Divi alluded to before, what he didn't mention was that the reason I couldn't take the offer for double, triple, and quadruple was that it was Shabbos. And uh, this is something we all live with as observant Jews that are committed and connected to uh, a Ki- higher... Ki- 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 Kiwi, how did it feel when you heard, when the, guy, the, the, the CEO of Microsoft called you and said that Bill Gates said on you, like he's like the biggest, you know, represents money in Dalam Haza, the richest, wealthiest person, said on you that that's when he has someone who has something money can't buy. How do you explain that? Like, you're richer than him, like, wow, this is the biggest kid, Shashram, like, this is a, like, I have something he does, like, and being acknowledged, you know, and, and, and such a verbal, like, literally saying, well, he has more than I do, in a way, no? So here's the thing about it, Divi. The truth of the matter is, this is a story that has happened to hundreds and hundreds and thousands of from Jews across the world. Every single from Jew that is Shabbos observant, that is out in the world, uh, conducting business, either as an entrepreneur, a professional, has had an encounter with Shabbos and a value, either Kashrus, Shabbos... But I'm not talking about Kashrus or Shabbos, I'm talking about Bill Gates, the rich, wealthiest person on the world, who the world yeah. idolizes as money. You were able to make such a level Kiddush Hashem by, uh, by you, as a single individual, just standing for your values of who you are, and, and it was set on you, and he set it on you. You acknowledged by, like, the, la, la, the, like the, by the king of, of, of finance, you know? Yeah, like, it, and it, I hear you. It doesn't impress me much because we serve the boy Oilam, Melech Malcha, Melech Makadosh Baruch And what I'm trying to share with you is that this is actually the story that we all live by. Problem is, we don't stop to smell the roses and actually acknowledge this. You know how many people I come across that have fascinating stories uh, of, of their own about Shabbos and about you know sticking to their to their faith and their principles. So yeah, this happened to be a situation that arose with an extremely high-ranking senior vice president of uh, Microsoft who is has the ear of uh, Mr. Bill Gates, and uh, you know was was it, it just kind of worked out that way. And I was literally just a pawn on Hashem's chessboard. And but they pushed. But happened. they pushed off the conference the Sunday to keep you. <laughs> they did. They absolutely did. But uh, the, this is how it That's is. That's a good enough reason for people to want to come to the Jabez Expo to hit it. I mean, of Microsoft, they, they pushed off the Sunday. They, they, they wanted to keep you. You know that means that, that Baruch Hashem, we, we, you know, we have a, we, you're really a big asset, and we're very excited to hear from you and to hear your stories and to hear your business insights. It's been my honor, my privilege, and I thank you, uh, gentlemen, so much for your time, and I uh, extend to you tremendous, tremendous uh, yeshukach for what you do, and Hashem should bless it a thousandfold. Amen, amen. Okay, Kiv, if you wanted to mention a brief thing about leprology, about your book, if you have to go, just like uh, if you're going to share that by the expo or use that message. I'm actually running to go and address uh, the National Association of um, Middle School Principals uh, at the annual conference. So I, I just want to share with you, these are people responsible for educating other people and empowering them to be all they can be. Here's the thing about it, and this is a fundamental principle of lepidology. You cannot sell something you yourself do not own. If you are not empowered and enabled and totally engaged as a human being yourself and truly own the capacity that you have to live your life as a human being with value and with purpose and with meaning and significant relationship with something higher than yourself in this world, there is no way on this earth that you can sell it to somebody else. You've got to own it. And it starts at home. We are Jews. We own this material. We are built and designed for this material, a synergy between body and soul. We get up every single morning and we say, Moidani. There is no more powerful 12-word statement in the world than Moidani. Read it tomorrow morning. See what's going on. Look at the English translation. See what you're saying. This is who you are. Go out there and, and, and the things like this, you've got to own it. So let it have a phenomenal, phenomenal close rate. They close 76% of all attempted client hunts that they prospect and attempt. One of the six components that makes this happen is a fundamental principle of lepidology. Number one, who are you? So leopard will actually spend 30 to 40% of their daylight hours grooming themselves, taking total and absolute
absolute inventory of who they are. Every single square inch of them gets licked by that huge 14-inch massive tongue with incredible musculature on it. And so people think that it's just sort of a ritual grooming process. But actually, zoologists have established that what's happening is that they are subliminally taking inventory of their tooling, of their apparatus. How market ready is it? What is the ready condition for this machinery to be deployed into the market? And it not only checks it for efficiency and efficacy, but it actually gives them a reminder instinctively of what is available to them to deploy on the hunt. And this is something that is really an important critical thing to learn. When you get up in the morning, you know, so often what happens is you land up in your office, you go to work, you go to a job, and you've absolutely forgotten to take yourself with you. You've left yourself at school, in the bit, in, in, at home, in the kitchen, eating breakfast. You haven't actually taken your single biggest asset with you, and that's you, the specific particular human being that you are. Number one, you haven't even taken inventory of it. Number two, you're not aware of its full capacity and apparatus. Leopard never leave home without themselves. It's a phenomena. All of them, their totality, all of who and what they are, is deployed on the hunt. There's not an iota of them that doesn't follow them to the hunt. And this is one of the things that makes them so absolutely incredibly effective and efficient as uh, wow. primary feline predators. A very important component. With that, gentlemen, unfortunately, I'm really going to have to leave you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kiri. Looking forward. Okay. Thank you. Speech over there. Keep on. Dilby Hunter, we only have a few moments left. Why did you upgrade from what used to the Parnas Expo to now you have the J Biz Expo? Right, so Zeb, so the, the, the J Biz Expo is, the, is a business world. You have everything related to business, including, uh, you know, uh, businesses seeking to grow, expand, uh, hire, um, find new clients, new relationships, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's more on a business level, a business tone, including like with the seminars and the tracks and the, and the, and the networking and the businesses attending. Because uh, it, it grew so much more into the business end, not the downplay, you know, the Parnassa end that's still over there, all the opportunities. But this end grew so, so much stronger that, it, you know, when we started years ago, we started just, uh, servicing, you know, in, in, the, in the recession, uh, you know, uh, jobs, business development, but the business world is so powerful and big, and there's such a need in it. Imagine someone who does have a business, opposed to someone who doesn't have a job or business. How much more people out there are able to be helped? So it grew and grew. So the B2B section grew, grew, grew so big, and uh, it 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 includes all the other Panasa services as well. But uh, to, as it, it turned into a JBiz Expo. So we up, up, upgraded the show into the uh, business, JBiz Expo, what services businesses and includes everything plus, plus, plus. It's fantastic. If people want to get more information, including you're going to have a shark tank as well. Apply for the shark tank. We have some very interesting uh, people who apply for the shark tank. Really cool ideas. It's amazing how creative people are and how many good ideas are out there. And we're so excited that we're able to help them, you know, make it happen, you know, because there's really no places to turn other than than a network and say, we have these ideas, help us, get us together with the investors, you know, and that's what we could do, you know, throughout the year, and we're going to do a live, uh, it's to be the closing event by the Expo, it's, uh, it's very exciting, and uh, anyone who wants to apply for it as well, they can go to jbizexpo.com and click on Accelerate if you have existing business and you want to grow, and you, you know, and you uh, and you want to get some some, uh, right. some partnership money, you know, um, funding. You could apply uh, if you you know, and uh, if you have something what's starting, but but you can show things for about as well. You can apply, and it's a tremendous opportunity. We can you know hook them up with investors, and it's 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 really 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 exciting. And I urge everybody to keep that date in mind, June first at the New Jersey Convention Exposition Center. For JBiz Expo. One short thing that we have a little changes since it's a JBiz Expo is like we had the survey last year, by our previous expo, and we separated like the main expo, 
the main conference is going to be in the morning hours, meaning to say from 10 to 1. That's going to include our keynote speaker, Kiwi, and, and the higher-end things. And then we're going to finish at 5 o'clock at 5.30 with the, with the accelerator. But we're not going to have any big keynotes, any big speakers, other than workshops, small workshops going on through the stretch of 1 o'clock, you know, until 5.30, because the floor, it drains from the floor. Because what happened was the conference is so powerful, and the floor is so powerful that they started eating on each other. So we made some changes, you know, we made the show one day that we should be able to have everyone, all the energy in the room in one day, not like over two days, people missing each other. Um, we made, we made, you know, also we have prices affordable, we have any business, I know it sounds, we're here to help businesses, and we're, we're non-profit, so we are talking about for a few hundred dollars a business could exhibit already by the show. We have every price bracket where people could come here and exhibit by the show and be able to get themselves out there. It, it's affordable for everyone, for every business, um, the sponsorship opportunities as well, and uh, the business benefit from sponsorships, uh, they get the name recognition, and it's imp- it, 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 it's it's affordable. The, it, the time the the, the time is 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 easier. It's one day we have the Sheraton Hotel. People could have a deal with them. People could reserve it and sleep overnight if they want. And we're going to have busing from Williamsburg, Borough Park, um, Flatbush, and from Lakewood. Uh, you know, and uh, we're very excited. Very exciting. And you've been listening to Duvi Honig. He is the founder of the Parnassa Network, founder of the Orthodox Jewish Chamber of Commerce. That's been bringing you tonight's broadcast. And, of course, the very exciting JBiz Expo taking place June 1st at New Jersey Convention and Exposition Center. I'm Zev Brenner along with Duvi Honig. Thank you for listening to the Orthodox Jewish Chamber of Commerce radio show, Making a Difference for Your Business.